Hello, Amanda Kendall here with True Result Tax Professionals. Today I'm coming to you, I want to talk to you about the IRS Fresh Start initiatives. So there is a lot of information out there on the internet, the IRS has some great information out on this, but I want to kind of break it down and just give you the overall view of what the Fresh Start initiatives really are that the IRS has put out there for us. So the Fresh Start initiatives, what those are is for installment agreements with the IRS. So there's three different ways that you can set up installment agreements based on the amount you owe. If you owe more than these amounts, then you're most likely not going to qualify for one of the Fresh Start installment agreements, but you can qualify for another installment agreement. So the first one we're going to talk about is our $25,000 or less tax liability and how that works for you. So with the $25,000 tax liability, you can do an installment agreement over five years and 60 months. So what that's going to be is that's going to be an installment agreement that you need to do as a direct debit out of your bank account. If you owe less than this amount, after three months of payments come out of your direct debit, so not that you've made three payments, not that you've made the equivalent of three payments in one lump sum, but after three payments come directly out of your bank account, you can actually have a lien withdrawal done on any tax liens that have been filed on you by the IRS. A lien withdrawal is much better than a lien discharge or paying off a lien. This actually allows you to provide this to the credit bureaus and have it removed from your credit report as if it was filed in error and it should have never been there. So if your credit is an issue with the IRS tax lien, this is a great way to go if you owe less than $25,000. The other option we have is our $50,000 or less tax liability. This agreement is going to allow you to do an agreement over six years, 72 months, and pay that amount off over that time. If you can come up with a payment that's gonna pay that off within that time, the IRS isn't gonna ask you to go through financial information. They're not gonna ask any questions on what it is you can afford. If you can afford that amount, they're gonna be willing to do that. This again also has to be a direct debit installment agreement. So you'll wanna make sure you have your bank account information ready when you're sending this over to the IRS to set this up. The last version here is what we're calling the expanded streamlined installment agreement. This is a new one that the IRS has rolled out within the last year or so here. And what this is, is this is a seven year agreement. So over 84 months and allows you to make this payment over 84 months. Again, this is going to have to be a direct debit installment agreement. Direct debit installment agreements are all set up using form 433D. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have that form that it's completed and filled out when you're calling the IRS to go over this. The only thing you're not gonna to wanna to fill out on this form ahead of time is going to be the dollar amount. And the reason being is because on all three of these agreements, the dollar amount that you're paying off has to include the penalties and interest as they're going to accrue over the five, six, or seven year period to set this up. What you wanna be very careful of, and this is what I run into all the time, is on this one here where you're looking for the lien withdrawal, you want to make sure that when you set this up that you're letting the agent or the representative that you get on the phone at the IRS know that you are going to be attempting the lien withdrawal. And so you need to make sure this amount includes all accruals over the five years so that it can all still be paid off within that 60 months. The mistake that I see happening here and not so much on taxpayer side but on the IRS side is that it, this agreement is getting set up. And when it's getting set up, they're not accounting for accruals of interest and penalties over the five years. So when you get to the point of submitting the lien withdrawal request, you now have an issue with that department, the advisory group, saying it's not going to full pay and you need to increase your payment by X amount of dollars. You then have to increase your payment and your three month payment window starts all over again. So it's really important to make sure that this amount is going to include all accruals to an sure that you can get the lien withdrawal taken care of there. Um, a safe bet here is if you're able to on whatever they tell you this $25,000 is, whatever that installment agreement is, if you're able to bump that up by 50 to $75 a month from what they're asking for, you're going to be pretty safe on this here when you get to that point of requesting that lien withdrawal. If you have questions on the lien withdrawal, I'll be doing another video on that and I will drop the link in the comments below so that you can access that one. Form 433D is a pretty simple form. I will also be doing a video on that one and drop the link for that in the comments below as well. 
So you'll have access on how to fill out both of those forms also. Other than that, if you have any questions on the IRS Fresh Start Initiative or you think you need some help working with the IRS, give my office a call. You can reach us at 720-319-8954 or you can reach out to us on the web at www.trueresolvetax.com. Again, my name is Amanda Kendall and I hope that you found this information helpful today. Thank you.